Welcome back to TCS Dart Frogs. I'm Travis and I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm going to talk about dart frog eggs and tadpoles and how to take care of them. So let's get to it. The first step in raising tadpoles is getting viable eggs. Good eggs will be dark gray or black in color and round in shape. Bad eggs will generally be white or light gray and may even burst. When eggs start to look like this, it means that they are infertile and they should be discarded. Good eggs will start to develop a small embryo on top of the egg yolk. Once you see this start to develop, you can know that your eggs are fertile. It usually takes four to five days before you'll see eggs start to develop, and another 14 to 16 days before you actually see a tadpole forming with gills. The long red thread-like external gills help the tadpoles breathe while inside the egg. Once the external gills are absorbed by the tadpole, it will be ready to hatch in several days. Once hatched from the egg, the tadpoles will appear lifeless for several days as they absorb the rest of the nutrients from their yolks. Next I'd like to talk about a few supplies that I find helpful for keeping tadpoles. The first is Indian almond leaves. Indian almond leaves provide a rich source of tannins which help prevent bacterial and fungal infections in your tadpoles. When adding almond leaves to your water it will turn your water a rusty color which is completely natural. The next thing I'd like to talk about is java moss. While java moss is not necessary to raise tadpoles, I do believe that by adding java moss to rearing containers, you can help lower nitrates and overall nutrients in the water. Java moss can easily be grown in a separate container for use when you have tadpoles to raise. Now I'll show you how I set up newly hatched tadpoles. First, I like to take the label off the container that the eggs were in and put it on the new container that the tadpoles will be going into. Then, I like to add a couple pieces of almond leaf to the container as well as a sprig of java moss. I then add about an inch to an inch and a half of clean water I get my water from the tap and let it sit out so the chlorine evaporates, but if you don't have good tap water, you can always use a dechlorinating solution or RO water. Then you add your tadpoles to the container. I leave the tadpoles in these containers until I start to see them move around and feed. Once they're becoming active, I know that they're ready to separate. If left together in small containers like this, they will cannibalize. However, they can be raised communally in larger containers. When separating tadpoles, I like to add more almond leaves to the new containers they will be going into. I also like to label each container so I know what species or locale of tadpole is in each cup. This just helps me keep an inventory of all the tadpoles that I have. It seems a little time consuming, but it really helps me out in the long run. I'll also add another sprig of java moss to each one of the cups. And then I add about an inch and a half of water to each one of the cups. I also like to add a bit of the water from the container that the tadpoles were already in as this will add a little bit of beneficial bacteria and some of the tannins that were in the water. I then add the tadpoles to their new cups and now they're ready to grow. I'd like to take a minute to talk about tadpole nutrition. In my opinion, algae like spirulina and chlorella are some of the most important aspects of tadpole nutrition. They're very rich in nutrients and high in protein, which helps your tadpoles grow fast. 
Another great food for tadpoles is Rapache's Soylent Green. This is a powder that has all sorts of different fish meal and algaes and other vitamins and minerals mixed in. I find that this works great to put size on tadpoles. However, if you have any left over in your container, it tends to foul the water a bit quicker than some of the other foods that I've used. Another great supplemental food for tadpoles are fish flakes or fish pellets. These provide a wide range of nutrients and also add a little bit extra protein. I prefer Omega-1 brand fish food, but any fish food will work. I chose Omega-1 just because they have a little bit higher quality ingredients. I find that I feed a little bit more fish flake and fish pellets to my Ronatamaya as the thumbnail species of tadpoles tend to like a bit more protein in their diet. Another great food that I've been experimenting with are these bug bites by Fluval. They're mostly insect larvae that have been dehydrated. And in the wild, tadpoles would be eating mostly detritus, algae, and pieces of bugs that fell into the small holes of water that they're in. So I've found actually really good results with this product since I started using it just a few months ago. When first feeding freshly hatched tadpoles, I just put a small dusting of spirulina algae on the surface of the water. You just want enough so you can see it if you look from the bottom of the cup. If you see it from the top of the cup, you may have added too much. Adding too much algae at this stage could possibly kill the tadpole as they're not eating very much and it could foul your water. I feed my tadpoles daily to every other day and as they grow I increase the quantity of food given to each tadpole. I also add water to the containers weekly and if a container gets overly dirty I will do a partial water change but it is important to never change more than 50 percent of the water at a time and as they grow you'll start to see their legs pop out first in the back and then in the front and pretty soon you have a beautiful little froglet that will turn into a beautiful grown dart frog. And here are a couple more froglets to enjoy. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos, please leave them down in the comments below. And don't forget to go check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and at tcsstartfrogs.com. You guys have a great day, and thanks again.